In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the most hidden Windows tweaks that you guys can possibly do to your PC to get your frames as high as possible and your input delay as low as possible. Now boys, pros are using these tweaks and today I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. So make sure you guys watch till the very end of this video to make sure you get the full effect of it. But if I can ask for one thing in return, if you can quickly leave a like on this video, quickly subscribe to my channel, it'll mean so, so much to me. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay boys, the first thing that we're going to be doing, one of the best prompts you can possibly put into your PC. Everyone right now, go into command prompt right here. Let's just search CMD. Run it as administrator. Now, of course, you're going to need a line of code, and I'm sorry, I can't put it in the description of the YouTube video because it's a tiny bit too long. So make sure you join my Discord tweaking channel. It's called Jinji Tweaking, I'll, make, I'll leave a link in literally the description down below. Head over to the announcers page. All we literally do is just talk about PC tweaks here. There's nothing like fishy going on, obviously. Literally, go over to the announcers page, optimize CPU performance. This is a red edit instead of going into your reg edit folders putting your binaries changing all that stuff you can easily do it in the cmd so what you want to do is copy this line of code right here up until reg to the f so control c once you've copied it go back into the command prompt go on to control v press enter then the operation is completed successfully to so make sure it's 100% worked in your pc by the way you will have to restart this right here will make your input delay just that slightly lower and honestly it is incredible also if we go over to the analysis page literally scroll up look how many reg edit tweaks i've put for you cmd tweaks i've put for you literally just keep scrolling up there's almost infinite amounts of it look right here three cmd commands to lower cpu usage we've already done this first one the second one is sc config w search start equals disabled it just it just literally disables it press enter just like that it's already done now the second two literally control c again control v enter success success all of these codes obviously work and honestly these literally changes you can make into your pc is what brings your input delay lower as we all know if there's more background stuff going on in your pc the more delay you're going to have the more frames you're going to be able to lose as well if there's a lot of stuff going in the background of pc that's what we have to disable most of these things another thing you guys need to do head over to the bottom go over to task manager i'll make it full screen for you guys go over to performance make sure remember processes your processes have to be as low as possible if you don't know how to get it lower literally go onto my channel a couple videos down i literally explain what services to disable there's about so, like 100 plus services that i have disabled look how many have stopped right here but one thing we need to do open services this is pretty much the most important service obviously this isn't a service video so i'm not going to be able to go for it too much one thing we have to look for right here sys main boys you have to disable it and if you don't know how to right click onto it go onto property start of type equals disabled now this does say maintains and improves system performance over time boys like it literally maintains and improves system performance over time by a couple days it is really not that good to have on the only reason people have it on is obviously because of this but it bottlenecks your pc's performance so so much honestly it's actually crazy so make sure you disable that again once you do you're gonna have to restart at the very end of this video but another thing we need to go through we can close these down now is head over here system configuration now this is one of the most important windows tweaks you guys can possibly do to your pc once you're here you need to go on to selective startup is the one you want to tick and tick the first two boxes load system services load startup items do not use the original boot configuration because we're going be using our own the most optimal one we can possibly use once you have those done right there go on to boot now once we're in boot timeout and then seconds now this has been the time old question should i put one second timeout two second timeout now boys it is so simple if you have a god pc literally put it at zero seconds if you have the worst pc put it at five seconds even if you have the worst of the worst pcs do not go above five seconds it's just no need it makes your pc slower for literally no reason at all but for me i have such a mid pc i'm just gonna go three seconds in the middle obviously but if you're confused obviously head over to the discord channel go into january at me being like Jinshi, this is my CPU, this is my GPU, what time out shall I do? Simple as that. Now go into advanced options, number of processors right here. Now this is going to be a very vital bit of information we're going to need to find to know how many processors we should have on. We're going to quickly close this, put this over here, go back into task manager. Now go into performance, CPU. Look at your core processors, boys. If you have a four core processor, we're going to go back to the advanced options and you're, you guys are going to click four. If you have six core processor you click six me i have eight so i'm going to do eight and so on and so on and so on so we're going to go back to system configuration advanced options for me eight is the max i can pick anyway so i'm going to pick eight but for some of you guys it may be four obviously kick four simple as that just making sure all of your processes 
filters are being used at all times. Obviously, why would you want one out of eight being used? Or let's say four out of eight being used. Sometimes that is the issue. Sometimes accidentally you click on four by accident. Obviously, it's completely fine. Make sure you click the number you have on your core processors that says on your task manager. Once you do that, we can go into our next tweak as well. Again, this tweak will be a network tweak. It's super important to do to make sure you get the lowest pings possible. Right here, you want to go into control panel. Once you're in control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center. I'll make it full screen for you guys. Your connection to your Wi-Fi will be right here. Simple as this, literally left click onto it. If you're ethernet, you can also do this tweak. It's completely fine to do. Once you're here, go into properties right here. And one thing we want to disable is Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer Protocol. Provides a platform to network adapter load balancing and failover. Boys, you don't need any of that. It's just putting strain on your Wi-Fi. You literally don't need it. Another thing I actually might recommend to you guys, for me personally, this does not work. But if you have Ethernet, you could actually disable Internet Protocol version 6. Chris Titus also disables this when he's trying to have the best performance out of his PC. Yes, of course, it's the latest version, but the latest version does not always mean it's better. Internet Protocol version 4, in my opinion, is easily better than the version 6. So some of you guys may want to literally disable this, press OK, press Apply. Now hold your horses, boys. Your Wi-Fi will cut out for about 30 seconds to one minute. It's completely fine. Load back up any game that you're playing. See if your Wi-Fi's made any difference. If it's lower, of course, brilliant. Keep it off. If it's exactly the same, in my opinion, just turn it on in case anything goes wrong. But one thing you guys need to do, Internet Protocol version 4, go into Properties. Now, most people ignore this part of the video and they just skip over the, the DNS server. You shouldn't skip over the DNS server because this is literally made for gaming. This is proven to give you lower ping boys. Use the following DNS server. This is from Cloudfare made for professional players. Preferred DNS 1111 alternative dns 1001 no matter where you are in the world this dns will guarantee you almost lower ping in my opinion the best dns server as well it's literally been proven over and over again now once we do this press configure once you're on here go into advanced and what we look to look for is the wireless mode if you're playing ethernet you can skip over literally 20 30 seconds of this video if you're wireless like me in my opinion this is what you should do you might notice going into settings just like so we're all going to search right now wi-fi settings i want all of you guys to do this go into your wi-fi just like so head down until you see the network band once you see this right here if yours says 2.4 gigahertz make sure you watch this part right here if it says 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz makes your wi-fi immediately faster to get a 5 gigahertz you need to go on the 802.11 ac this is a 5 gigahertz band it will automatically put you onto 5 gigahertz it literally puts you on it no matter what apart from this if you go onto this restart your pc load up any game you have and you have input lag or it is packet loss make sure you go back onto auto but for me the ac works completely fine and most of you it will work fine as well so i really do recommend you guys go onto the ac as well once you do this you could press ok to that close that and remember boys you need to restart your pc if you don't restart none of these are going to work once you do restart load back into the game and leave a comment down below if this did work for you or not it literally by leaving a comment i'll subscribe to some of you guys back simple as that boys but i hope you did enjoy the video if you did please do leave a like please do subscribe as it means so much to me but without further ado i'll see you guys on further on this week